Today I'm going to do a little behind the scenes on the water jet cutting of Stuff in Half I've been doing recently. Now on the other YouTube channel I have, you know, I'm cutting stuff in half with a water jet cutter, things like golf balls and such like. I had no idea it took so much bloody work. Like, the setup, the getting things right, making sure things are clean, making sure all the video, video equipment, all the cameras I use are synchronised, and it's unreal, but I think it will be worth it. Now, I've recently become obsessed with the camera gear, you know, lenses and cameras and lights and things. I mean, even even lights make a difference. Now, take a look take a look at this. So this is with no lights on, just daylight coming in. Okay? And right now I'll show you with lights on. So what a difference, huh? Like it just makes the whole thing brighter. So that's what I do for the videos for, you know, the the cutting in half videos. I try to make them a bit more a bit more not professional, but just well done. Um, whereas I feel if I, you know, if I hold the camera out here talking to you, you know, it's you're more into my life. You know that you're more. It's more real. It's more raw. So it's not that I can't be bothered making quote unquote fancy videos for what I'm doing right now. I just think it's more real if I just pick up the camera, talk to it, tell you what my thoughts are, and then keep going again. So hope that makes sense. This is the camera on a tripod rather than holding it out. Now I actually change. The, the lens, this is a wide angled lens for my sort of daily videos and I changed the lens to a different lens can't remember what it was called or anything about it, I just know it's the one I need for, you know, for a more sort of detailed look where there's, there's more of me the background fades in so it's a bit different and but it has a good effect so I'm going to change to that lens now because I'm, going to, I'm about to talk about the things I'm going to cut today there we go, what do you think of that? A lot better quality, um, it's a more expensive lens but I think it makes such a difference, it, it's completely different as you can see the back is blurred out, um, the, the quality of the picture should be better, um, certainly looks better in the viewfinder as I, as I look here. So these are the things I plan on cutting today, one, in fact my head's getting chopped off, hold on, there we go, so first up, a mug. A money train mug, so I mean obviously that must be from the 80s or 90s. I've never even seen that film. Second up, an oil filter. And thirdly, a camera. It's a broken camera, so yeah, those three things are what we're cutting today. The water jet cutter's not working, so we're having to phone our water jet guys to see see what's happening. Uh, less, this lens is a bit close here, but this is the lens I'm using. Don't want to change the lens just for a quick video, so you'll have to make do with my big face. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we can get this thing fixed and get on with the cutting. We've got the pump working again. Let's cut. So a semi-successful day, cutting stuff in half. Um, the highlight was probably this camera. Take a look at this. Look at that. How much gubbins is inside that? I think there's about nine bits of glass, nine lenses. Unbelievable. Oops, and then it's all falling apart, surprisingly. Cutting it in half and it falls apart. 